Hi guys, Fonzie here from GM Motorsport Australia Speed. We've got another Chopper Reed can. We're uh, doing a heap of these. Um, sound awesome, pretty cool. Now this one's a bit different because it's um, we don't have CNC heads on, which is actually quite rare in our shop. Usually everything has CNC heads. So what we're going to do is basically show you what the difference is with CNC heads, no CNC heads. Um, we've adjusted the tune and did everything correctly so um, you know we haven't just dropped the same tune or anything else it's custom tuned for no heads versus CNC heads everything else is the same ramjet 3 triple step all the right ingredients just minus the heads hit the rollers show what it can do have a bit of a chat about it Okay, uh, good result. Um, as I said, that's with no CNC heads. Um, 6826 will show you the data for all the internet warriors. We've got the AFR or Lambda. It's dropped out, so don't stress, don't message me. Um, we'll show you another run, it's done. Everything is perfectly fine. So sometimes this happens, especially at the back of the car. Okay, so we've got some overlays, and you can see here where my lambdas jumped out in that one. There's nothing to stress about. We can see it's correct. So both AFRs or lambda is working in this one, so I chose to do that. So what you can see, there's a, there's a pretty big difference. Call it 351, 353 kilowatts versus 377 point five. So there's 26 rear wheel kilowatts of the difference. And you can see that the, the tune up is the same, especially through this area. It is identical, okay? Um, interesting enough, um, a little bit rich here on the one with the CNC head. But what we're gonna show you is that people reckon CNC heads don't do anything. Look at it all the way. That's 10 rear wheel kilowatts. That's 20 horsepower. It, that, it's just a huge gain. So, you know, we don't do many without the heads. So when we've done this, it's actually like, it's a refreshing thing to look at and go, wow, how good are our heads? They are that good. Um, look here from the get-go, the torque, okay? More torque all the way down. Interesting enough, the torque virtually meets at that point here. Um, to be a little bit fair and transparent with the CNC head, we probably could have touched the tune up where you can see that there. We are a little bit rich with that area, but uh, we could clear that up. So we're being very transparent and we're saying, hey, we probably could have uh, had that carry through. But at some stage, you might see them cross over with the velocity and what actually works and doesn't work. That's why Flowbench is great, but the dyno or the engine dyno overall is the result that you want to see to be done. So it carries it all the way through, and you can see how good this is. It's married up as well, like 6690. One versus 98. So you can't say we've got discrepancies in our tests. Oh, it's not the same car, it's not this. We're within a couple of RPM. Um, they are the same model car, they are the same manual, they are the same diff ratio. Um, there are so many things that are similar to validate this test. And as I said, we've matched up the RPM and everything else. So you matched up Lambda, 8686 RPM matched up but we have got some 25 rear wheel kilowatts uh, difference. You know, honestly, that's probably 40 horsepower uh, difference as well. So guys, if you're on the fence about CNC heads, honestly, it's worth getting. We do a lot of these. We even do private label stuff. Um, I won't show you on the bottom of this one, but it says heads by GM here. And we can have a look through here and the port work. Um, like I said, this is on, not a new head. This is in our exchange program. So the quality of work and um, it does make a difference. You get results, it's honestly worth it. And as I said, um, you know, we're excited by sometimes just, you know, reconfirming and validating how good our stuff is. So if you want the recipe and you want it done right, um, you know, people ask, oh, the heads are already big enough on a LS3. Well, I'm just showing you that you can port the standard casting and you can get them results as well. 
So guys, if you're uh, you're watching, Chopper Reed Cam works and it also works fantastically with GM Motorsport CNC heads. Um, or that could be uh, your own shop. As I said, we do a lot of private label stuff around Australia. Um, so yeah, ask for GM Motorsport heads. There's a chance that your shop may be already fitting them. Most of them will be honest and talk to you about it. If you're looking at sitting on the fence, GM Motorsport heads, get the job done.